They say that fools learn from their experiences, while the wise learn from history. Genosa. What is up you guys? My name is Jed and welcome to the Minami Kaze Show. In this video, we'll discuss Psychopath Season 1, Episode 3, Rearing Conventions. Let's start with its introduction. We see Kogami trains in a dark room by himself, and right after, he checks out the picture of someone who looks similar to the person Kogami was fighting in the introduction of Episode 1. We're getting a little tease about these two characters' uh, quote-unquote relationships. Um, it's only a matter of time though that the second character will be revealed or the teasing will just get tiring. But for now, the mystery continues. Let's recall back to when Genosa warned Akane to not be so trusting toward the enforcers. Genosa stressed to Akane that the enforcers should be treated like dogs on a leash. But Akane challenges Genosa when he kept on treating Masaoka like crap in this episode. She actually asked Genosa if anything happened between the two. Bomb, bomb, bomb. That made Genosa turn to a Super Saiyan triggered. Genosa's respect for Akane totally fell off when Akane suggested that they should try out Kogami's idea. The fallout of the inspector relationship between Akane and Genosa did reveal that there is something that Genosa has against Masuoka more than because Masuoka is an enforcer. Based on how he opened up to her back at the hospital, Akane expected Kogami to be rational and calm to the suspect to see if he really is the killer. As we know, Kogami went balls deep trolling on the guy. He even had an athletic erection while fighting the triggered suspect, an athletic erection that had enlightened Akane. Akane now questions if trusting Kogami might have been a good idea knowing that he's someone who's down to fight and kill, not someone who's simply down to just talk things out peacefully. With Akane being so trustworthy of those that seem innocent, it can be dangerous for her. Kogami seemed innocent until he showed how he loves to fight criminals, and the suspect Kanahara, he seemed innocent until we learned in this episode that he was the actual killer. The storyline makes us reflect on times when we see someone's true colors, someone that turned out to be a person we didn't expect them to be. Akane realized that Genosa hates Masuoka more than because he is an enforcer, for some reason. Genosa expected Akane to trust him instead of the enforcers, but instead it turned out to be the opposite. Akane also trusted Kogami to be a calm and collected puppy, but instead it turned out to be a lustful, fighting, risk-taking wolf. In the end, relationships had changed after their true colors were shown. Genosa didn't want to help Akane anymore after she sided with the enforcers, and Kogami and the whole MWPSB team chased down the criminal after realizing he's the killer, instead of seeing him as a innocent bullied victim. So question to you guys, have you ever met someone that turned out to be a completely different person? Did it happen in an unexpected way? And did your relationship change after learning their true colors? Let me know in the comment section below, I'd really like to know your thoughts on this topic. We learned that the government is very greedy. They'll ensure that their businesses stay profitable at whatever cost. The drone factory actually stays offline to avoid any virus attacks at the expense of the worker's sanity, aka no entertainment from the internet. Even finding justice for questionable death accidents are less of a priority if it halts daily production, aka it undermines profits. Denominators have top priority in receiving hue assessment results from civil system than other scanners. The flaw of the device is that it's useless if it's in an offline environment. This information can be symbolic to the tragic life of the suspect Kanehara. Denominators are useless in an offline environment, yet they are valuable because they can function in an online environment. Kanehara was useless in the real world and online environment due to his poor hue assessment. Ironically, he was useful in a degrading way when working at the factory, an offline environment. Once the factory went online, things switched. The denominator worked and Kanahara stopped being useful, aka he was found guilty for killing the people. This whole symbolism can be telling us that civil system will get rid of humans someday. That's just my take on it. Stay tuned for next time on the Minami Kaze Show where I will review Psychopath Season 1's Episode 4, Nobody Knows Your Mask. 
Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys soon. Later, peace. Thank you.